say real quick here because I know some of you have to leave but we did a little research found out tonight uh, the Petitanes were actually organized in 1948 am I right mm -hmm. yep I remember that see um, so but there are a lot of other things uh, as we were researching and that's what we needed we found out that we had sub devs and we had um, oh the other lassies, lassies which Nina Whistler was in, and she was, uh, but sub-devs, we have uh, Joan Laura and uh, 
Those two over there. <laughs> Those two over there. I've got them working. We're together. And uh, anyhow, but they actually uh, organized their own um, clubs. So here, let me let me explain a little bit to you. In those days, it wasn't like in '63 and the '60s where we had juniors uh, brought in sophomores, sophomores. We, we, I don't know if we voted, I can't even remember if we voted or not, yeah. or you had a brother or sister or somebody that, you know, or a, uh, but you, you brought them in that way, and, uh, and we were limited because we met at houses, so sometimes our parents, we didn't have big houses to have meetings, so uh, some of them had, were just like uh, seven in each class, that was it, and one of the classes I saw, one of the pictures was like 42 in one of them that was, I think that's 1966 was a Pettitine's picture, so, but in the beginning, and I don't know where they all began, but I want to tell you that in my dad's era, in the 40s and 30s, I'm sorry, 30s, late 30s, in, in, even in grade school, they had gangs around Salem. So they had the Wilson Street Tigers, they had uh, Fair Street, they had kids, they had on Penn Street, and these kids played baseball together. But they actually formed clubs, but they didn't meet or anything or do any fundraisers or anything. So from there, you can see it evolved to like Jones, uh, class in 1940, in the 40s, 1947, I got that one. 1947, and they must have started in your freshman year. They started their freshman year, but they got a group of girls together. They stayed with each other, the same girls. They didn't have sophomores and juniors come in with them. They stayed all through and graduated together, and the end was when they graduated. That was it. Not like, and then it evolved to where we had dosigados, pedatines, and that where it just continued on and on and on and on and on. And I got a, a letter from a lady, you know, I can't remember what state, uh, that just wrote to me and she said she was McCleave. can't think of her name, but she just said she can't uh, fathom how, and how wonderful it is that the McCleaves started in 1954, but they started the same way, all by themselves, but they evolved and added more people, more kids and that. And so she is, Claire out there, and she's like in the 40s, 1954, I'm sorry. So she just was, you know, astounded that the McCleaves had lasted this long, you know. Somewhere along the line in the 80s, they ended. Um, the last one I met a Pettitine, and this, I could be wrong, but she was the, the, 1986, and it was Charlene Smith's, Newton's daughter, who lives now in Texas. But, I mean, but Pettitines could have, I mean, these classes, uh, clubs could have gone on. There was some time along there where the school, I know, decided to end all the clubs or whatever, which was surprising to me because we weren't affiliated with right. the school, so I don't know where legally the school had the right to do that, but there must have been a problem. I don't think I lived here at that time, but, um, you know, and then, then there was a law on that, and even Dukes uh, disbanded, and then, as I understand it, then Dukes kind of started up again, but they kind of became maybe a little bit of bad boy stuff, and and then now they and then maybe they all. And then they kind of disbanded again, whatever. So that's kind of the history. So what we need, to, you know, we, what, tonight we have a lot of stories. We have Maze of Salem stories. We have initiation stories. You know, we have hayride stories. We have people falling off of hayrides. We have all kinds of slumber party stories. Is Linda Whipke here? Six, 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 six. Oh, I'll have to tell this story. Okay. I so I, mean, I, I tried wild. to get her. She's exhausted. They had a Tice reunion. Yeah. And it's a rainy day. Yeah. And I think that she just kind of. You do. Yeah. You get you get exhausted. So any kind of stories that you can think of, I have a timeline sheet if you want. If you're interested, you know, um, we'd like you to. If you can donate your pictures, fine. You know, we need to put it put it on the back of your pictures. If not, David's here to scan. Um, and uh, so that we can grab these. If you don't have them, you find them later, you're moving or whatever, or before you go to the nursing home, send them to us. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that's when everybody seems to clean out, you know, or their kids clean out, whatever like that. So, um, if you want me to do that, I will start with the the, the story with a. And see, here I am. I can't remember. It was a summer party at Linda Whipke's house, and it was either the Maze of Salem or it was a because we combined. We would have pedatines would have uh, uh, we would have summer parties with Dosi Goddess. We would have slumber parties with high timers. We would have summer parties with McLeaps. We would. So we went, We were. We were friends, all of us. You know. Um, I don't remember that. Uh, the other thing you need to know too is they were limited. Ask who remembers that. I don't remember. Yeah, that. I don't remember that. Everybody shaking their head. No. Uh, Nina Whistler had summer parties, and she even had pictures. 
and if she could have brought them, but she even has pictures where they all had their hair up, like we did, you know, the, yeah. but they had their hair in rags. Explain that one, Janice. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You remember the rags? I didn't do it in, in groups, though. <laughs> I don't know that. Anyhow. So anyway, we were at Linda Whitney's house. We got bored, whatever. Uh, you know, we told ghost stories, things like that. Um, talked about our boyfriends, you know, and uh, things that were going on in school. But we really got bored. And Mrs. Whipke uh, was a really good hostess, and she came out, and she was with us a little bit, and brought us refreshments, stuff like that. And then she said, have you ever raised a table? And we said, what? And she said, have you ever raised a table? Of course not. <laughs> Never raised a table. She said, let me show you. So we got a card table, and she sat down with us. We did this two or three times. And she taught us how to do it. I shouldn't say she taught us. We experienced it with her, this is the word. We experienced it with her. But the first time, we didn't do well, because you, could, you had to stay focused. And we asked it to count out the date. And I know it was like July something. So it's like July 6th, like 1962, or something like that. And you could feel the table raise. We, we had nothing underneath. There were kids around us watching. Nothing Ray, you know, we had our hands on the table. You didn't really touch the table. And we just, but we asked the table to count out the date. And one of the ends started tapping. And then it would stop. And then it would tap again. And it, and it did exactly the date that we did. And of course, I don't know what else. We did some other things. She knew what to ask it, you know, that, that came out like in, in taps, you know, like uh, tap three times if my boyfriend loves me, you know, and it'd be, yes, you know, and, or, or should I go on? I, I don't know, but it was really a, but it was an amazing thing, and it, it was just like really opened you up to the spiritual world there, you know, <laughs> but we had fun. It was a, one of those things that I will never forget. You know, like, like the hay rides, too. I never forgot the hay rides. And that's all I can remember about Petit Kings is the hay rides, you know. So, anyhow, so I know that um, some of you, uh, Carol, where's Carol at? I think she Carol has a story about the maids of Salem. And, uh, uh, oh, I might remember the initiations, too. Those were kind of crappy, you know. They were, you know, but we, we suffered through them, you know. So, but Carol, tell about that maids of Salem uh, and she even has pictures of that. <laughs> the one we're downtown? You're going to have to speak up. <coughs> Come forward. Speak up. Yes. Stand up. Downtown? <laughs> <laughs> we had to go down. Every day through initiation, we did something different, of course. And we, on one of the nights, one of the evenings, we went down to the post office, which is no longer there. One's big granite steps going up right on the corner where the bank is on State Bank. And we had our nightgowns on, faces full, and a potty to carry around. And we had a roll of toilet paper. And we had to run out to the trucks or cars when they would stop at the traffic light there at the intersection, run out with a piece of toilet paper and ask them if they'd come buy it. So they'd give us a nickel for it or a penny or something. And uh, I have some pictures of, I think it was Betsy Young, it was one of the people. Yeah, I'm trying to think who. So that was the maze of Salem in what year? Oh, 1955. 1955. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the year I was initiated, we also wore the nightgowns and the toothbrushes, but we scrubbed the steps at the post office. And that was the stuff, yeah. No, the maze. That was the maze. Maze. In 47? Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. In, I graduated so, in 47, yeah. so, so a year or two. We were trying to figure out when the maze were started in 47. Uh, I, let me, let me, I, I, won't, I don't want to take up everybody's story, but I, if you see if you uh, think this is correct, because I remember either my mother telling me or somebody, the maze of Salem were started because of all the proms that girls didn't get asked to proms. So there was a group of social mothers that decided they didn't want their daughters to be without uh, dates. So they said, well, why don't you just get your own group together and have a group and make your own fundraiser and put on a dance. So they put on a Christmas dance. And so 
they mm -hmm. ended up doing fundraisers and that. And so there were only uh, 12, I believe, or 12 in each class. There was, they were limited. We didn't have the three grades. So. You're not talking about the White Christmas Day. We're talking about the Yeah, White Christmas Day. Did they start? That was nothing to do with maids. No. No. White Christmas Day. No. Then it wasn't called the maids, but these people put on a Christmas dance. Yeah, but they weren't maids. And maybe that evolved into the White Christmas Committee. I don't think well, so. that's why we need to have the history, because we need to get our facts straight. Yeah. So, well, some group, mother started this group, and you could ask your own boyfriend. That's what I was told, you know, so you didn't have to wait for a guy to ask you. And that's what then they called well, it. They the told you who well, to tell you. They yeah. told you yeah. who to tell you. Yeah. That was our meeting. Yeah. yeah. The committee. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's different. Yeah. That's yeah. Not yeah. I was on it. Okay, so now we had a maze. So I'm getting mixed up with the White Christmas. Yes, they're different. yes, they're different. So the maze of Salem actually had a dance, yeah. and they oh, did a. No, 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 never heard. No, they they really might have been the social. beginning. I don't yeah. know, but I don't think so. It was just fun. It was just, it was just fun. fun. What group was yeah. it that sent you invitation and told you White you Christmas? Christmas. White, White Christmas. Christmas. White Christmas. White Christmas. White Committee. Yeah, was a it was a white Christmas. Yeah, Okay, any stories? Um, I have the, uh, the original um, for the maids, um, the initiation papers that I've saved all these years. And the invitation to become the one. Tell us, tell us your name. Penny Parker Lippiet. So, and I've saved this every year for our class reunion because it's a class of 58. So this is the original, and I'll be glad to turn it over. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. Just put the steps down yes. with the toothbrush. Oh. I remember that yeah. distinctly, and no makeup some days. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we did all that. You had to go to school like that. Yeah. And I really didn't get to join any other club because um, I always had to work. So this is why I got into this. I have no idea. And then I got an invitation for the high timers that was dated in 56 um, from Connie Kraft. RSVP and of course I never did because I couldn't join any other clubs. So anyway, I have these two minutes. So we should ask you? <laughs> <laughs> and this is from Carol Patterson. Um, she gave me the Pettitine patch. Oh. And it was given to our class, so I think she wants me to turn it over to the Historical Society. I Well, the insignia that shows high timers that mm -hmm. you showed in that thing, I never saw before. Uh, I didn't, it didn't look like the ones I saw either. No, mm -hmm. the flyer. Which that's one? the only one. The, in in the flyer, we went down to the alumni association, and that's all they had. Mm -hmm. We we were we we just scrambled. We scrambled. Does anybody? So, do we have anything? <coughs> BJ. Any BJ. What's your maiden name? Cooper. BJ mm -hmm. Cooper Abrams. My question was, I when I was in school, I thought you were voted in either to the you know Pettitines was first, then it was the uh, high timers Joseph Goddard's and please, but then I thought. You had to be, if you were in one of those clubs, then you got voted in to be a maid of sale. That no, was no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you had a big sister that chose you. There was 12, and there was a big sis, and then when you went on the next year, you chose somebody to be in the maids. And it's not that you did that much, it was just social. <laughs> yeah, it was just purely social. Yes. Okay, next story. It was stories. another sweatshirt you could buy. I know. Story. Somebody tell a story. Don't be afraid. Well, you guys have stories. Initiations, come on. You remember initiations. Well, a my dress is a football game. You know, I'll with big games. My name is number 51. I'll tell you my story. Oh, tell your story. Yes. Yeah. This is, wait a name? Sandy Sainer Cable. I was in McLeaves, and I remember being asked to be in McLeaves, and I was very nervous that I would get blackballed because, as I remember, three votes against you, you didn't get into the club. Am I correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I okay. So I got into the club, so I was just thrilled to death. And we had initiation at someone's house, um, gosh, on the corner, I want to say Schneider, but I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, when we went in, we were told nothing, and we were blindfolded. And we were told that we were going to have to eat poop. <laughs> now, you know, we should have known that it wasn't so, but it was initiation, and you would do anything for initiation. And they took you down the stairs in the basement, blindfolded, into 
in what seemed like a closet because it was enclosed, and they had you reach into a bucket, and there was something slimy in there, <laughs> <laughs> and you had to take it out, and they wanted you to eat it. Well, I couldn't do it <laughs> because all I could think of is what they told me. But I thought, oh, I'm not going to get in now because I can't do this. <laughs> and then they took you to another part, and they had you hold out your hands, and they squirted something in your hands, and they told you it was similar stuff. <laughs> Then they spun you around, and they, um, I remember they were kind of like talking a little mean to you, you know, I think they were just trying to scare you. And uh, then uh, they were telling you that you had to do this or you weren't going to get in. And finally I took a little bite of whatever it was, and it was a hot dog. <laughs> and I was so relieved and then they took the blindfold off and you went upstairs and you felt like an idiot because then you saw it was mustard and ketchup you know? <laughs> yeah. but it was a lot of fun and then after everybody's initiation we did a scavenger hunt in the middle of the night in the neighborhood oh wow and it was like two or three in the morning and they turned us loose <laughs> us girls in our 90s and jammies mm -hmm. And, you know, we were perfectly safe, and here we were knocking on doors in the middle of the night, and the couple people that I went to were actually nice. <laughs> we had to ask for an egg. <laughs> that was my thing, to go get an egg, and this very nice man went and got me an egg, you know, in the middle of the night. But it was, that's, and it was just a lot of fun. Thanks for listening. More story. Question. Holly has a question. Holly Hilliard <laughs> Yarnell. Holly Hilliard Yarnell. Okay. Supposedly, well, Peggy Meisner, who was in our class, I was talking to her about this meeting today, and uh, she was in the Dosigatas, and she said they did a lot of community work and things like, what did the high timers do? <laughs> All I can remember is I think we did. going to club, eat a bunch of junk food. I remember your house, Karen. Eat a bunch of junk food and go to the canteen and yes. go to the canteen. That's all I remember yeah. was doing. Did we do, did we do community? We, did. we probably did. I think we probably did. I think or we were a little bad. No, really. I think what we did is like at Thanksgiving and like at Christmas, I think we gave... Uh, basket. We did basket. Think we yeah, did. we did that. Yeah, you are Diane McCoskey. Diane McCoskey. Oh. Ever <laughs> heard. But we would that do. That sounds good. You know. Yeah. Um, I think McCleave's here. Maria Nectus Harold. You went where? We went to some of the like the nursing homes and the uh, the home that just got rebought. Century mm. Home. Yes, oh, Century. We went there and sang Christmas carols at Christmas oh, we time. We did Christmas carols. We did that. I'm, I'm sure we did some yeah, time. I can't no, see Yeah, that's we should do that. And we did canned goods. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But we would just kind of pick something we didn't like. Sure. That's, <laughs> <terrible. laughs> <laughs> that's what you call us for the mailman. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> not good. Not good. Who remembers going then to the canteen on we had club on Tuesday? Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 I don't think really they do much of our community service then like they do now. Right. Now, now no, we're all aware. Yeah. Of community service. Oh, Gianna's Frank Palmier. Uh, it's funny. I just remembered you always had to go to Lee Tanya to get the big can of potato chips when you were having club at your house. Oh, no, no, they were actually dandy, 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 but you had to buy this big can of chips when you were having a ball. Yeah. 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 And wow. bubble gum, we had tons of bubble gum in our meetings, and I ended up, I don't know how many cavities I had. <laughs> <laughs> From all that gum. No, what was, you, Polly, you, you had gum. Yes. I'm just Well, I just that. remember mm -hmm. we had a lot of, like, uh, bubble gum, especially. That would I took a, I don't know how many pieces of gum and then I ended up getting all these cavities. So. <laughs> Why don't you Can take I, a count of into the, each club as to how many were in each club? Yeah, good idea. Yes. Okay, so let's do high timers. How many high timers? So that would be one, two, three, oh. four, five, six, seven. Oh, these youngsters here. Did you say you were high timer? Yeah. To which club? I, I put. If they did it, yeah. Do okay. you remember community so that's eight high timers things that I counted, we did? Did I count right? I do. 
Okay, we have to second count here. Pipe timers, raise your hands high. Someone else count. Maria, count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Ten. Okay, how about McLeaves? I'm too old. One, two, three, four. Where, where, did I miss anybody over here? Who are you asking? Four McLeaves? Oh. And how about um, uh, Pedatines? So one, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Six, six Pedatines. Mm -hmm. Did you catch um, yourself? Yep, I won two, I think. <laughs> I think six, yeah. And then what was the other one? Dosi Gatos. Oh my goodness, Dosi Gatos. One, two, two, three, two, two, three. Two. Two, three. It's like two. bingo. Two, three. Two. <laughs> yeah. High yeah. timers yeah. roll. The maids. <laughs> Again. The maids. How about the maids? How about the maids? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. We beat you. <laughs> wow. Anyhow, okay. And what about going to the canteen? About, oh, did we not? I remember some people came to the club on Tuesday night with hair and rollers. Yeah. Remember the cans or the brush rollers? We'd go downtown like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. With rollers <laughs> and a little Every Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yes. Yes. I have a picture yes. myself. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. We thought we were yeah. 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 downtown yeah. Saturday with cans oh, cool. yeah. our hair rolled up. Mm -hmm. You with had to little, get ready for the start. dance <laughs> that yeah. night, right. so you had to have your hair on. All day. Yeah. All day. Yeah. All day. All day. All day. All day. <laughs> so it would dry. That's yeah. right. Yes. It would dry. We also oh, had the Friday night uh, dances in the park. Oh, yeah. the best. Oh, my God. Yeah. We did have Friday well, night You had a good one. We did. Yeah. 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 After the football games and then the dances. Games, at the dances. Yeah. So, but what about, where was the canteen? Under the memorial building. Basement? Basement of the memorial building. Because we had. I grew up above the old Arba Pierce, yeah. Ar the Arba yeah. furniture store. Mm -hmm. They had a J team, and we used to go up there. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was your name again? Shirley. Shirley. Shirley Hilliard Robert Baker. Baker. <laughs> and your, your era went to Arba Pierce. The Pioneer the, Building? Or the, oh, the yeah. Pioneer yeah. Building on the top yeah. floor, up on the upper right. floor. Yeah. And sure, you went there too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you had dances up there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Sock Hops? Yeah. What? Sock Hops, dances. Yeah, we had yeah. dances. Yeah. dances. Yeah. So yeah. did you guys do Jitterbug? And, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, we went to the Slow Dance. Yeah. No, that's the Charles. <laughs> that's the Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when they switched to down a memorial building. Was it in the they, they tore down the Arbaugh building? Okay, whenever, yeah, yeah that when they. Surely, you talking about Carol has Carol something to say over there. Surely, Carol. I didn't remember what they were with, but I went to the memorial building and we. Cleaned it up. I think they did it more than one time, but the first time because we messed up and we dragged everything out and we painted the walls and did all that stuff. So that would have been in 1953 or 54. Yeah. I've like that. 55, mm -hmm. so okay. I had to have been. I just I didn't remember what group I was with. But. Oh, I was going to say I think Rosemary Sulia uh, did the painting and also yes. Don Getz. Did both of them do the paintings yeah, on the did. wall? Yeah, David, David Wolf did, did some of it. Yeah. But that yeah, was but later. Think, in the 60s. I, mean, yeah. I think there was a, two groups. Because yeah. I think yeah. David Wolf and I might have done another <clears throat> over it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But Rosemary Sully would have been what? 1955. <clears throat> so maybe 10 years later. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can't get it rid right of it. And then another thing, uh, Dick Paxson's father was responsible for opening up the Elks and having the bands come after the football games, mm -hmm. which I thought was very, very right. nice. They were all free. Yes, yeah. it was yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and at the park we had, was the attorney Hunston? And he no, had a collection of Don Stelz. Don Stelz. Yeah, Don Stelz. Was he mm -hmm. No. What did he he do? was also at the memorial building in the wintertime and in the summertime. Yeah. 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 He had his own collection. He did. Just mm -hmm. And he had all the records. Yeah. <clears throat> he used to have go karts, too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. More stories. You know, I'm, look at, I'm looking at her and she's got a story. She's got a story. She, she wants me to tell the story. <laughs> okay, so this, this is um, Terry Brown Schweitzer. Uh, when when Nani Swartz was a senior, 
her, her dad had a limousine and they took us over to the restaurant. Do you remember that? We all went in the limousine. I don't remember that. Well, I wouldn't miss eating. Well, <laughs> oh, okay. no, no, she no. would have been. You would have been in there. But there were fourteen of us. Yeah, I, maybe we all couldn't fit in there. But <laughs> no. thanks. There were fourteen sophomores that got in that. Oh, then it that were all was all together. Senior. And yeah, we all crammed in that limousine, the 14, all of yeah. us. Okay. And we went over, and yeah. I thought, think it was called the Holiday Inn. It was over by Steamers. Oh, no. the Holiday Inn. I don't then? remember. What I don't it, know what it was. For, yeah. This was for? Just for a dinner. We were going over for a dinner. I don't know if it was a Christmas dinner. Yeah, or it could have been. But this, no, this was all your club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was your club. Mm -hmm. But it was, the 14 was just all our sophomores. Just sophomores. Yeah. Whew. And Nani got us in, all of us in that limousine. Oh. And where did Nani ride? She probably didn't. There was no room for Nani. Nani broke. She went and jabbed a bit. Yeah. Nani broke. Did she really? Did she really? Yes. Nani probably broke. Yeah. That's oh, Nani Swartz, the barber now. Go ahead. This has nothing to do with the clubs, but why all of you were out partying and going to summer parties and all this. I was busy working at the town talk. You remember that? Oh, yeah. 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 I was the curb serve girl, yes. 12 yeah. years old to 21. Yes. So yeah. I met my husband, the Fawns, I call him. Uh -huh. He walked in with these big engineer boots and a cap, and Lucky Strikes on a signal. Yeah. That's a hood. <laughs> I married the hood. Yeah. Yeah. But I was peeling potatoes at all the football games and everything, and my sister was football queen one year. and she she never told my mother that um, she was queen until that week because we weren't allowed to take any after school activities because we had peeled potatoes and do hamburgers and everything. And she says, oh, by the way, I need a dress. I'm football queen. Oh, and my mom said, well, if you, well, she was in the court. She said, well, if you get it, I'll dye my hair blonde. So my mother dyed her hair blonde. Oh, oh, no. I never seen her crown because everybody came to the games afterwards at the town talk. Well, not everybody, but most people, you know. So I missed all of that. So about I don't know how many years ago it was, somebody wanted to take me out, a group of girls, and we went to the town talk and ordered a hamburger and stuff. We went to my first football game, which was at Riley Stadium, because I never went to any football games. And that was the year when they had all the uh, football queens parade around Riley Stadium. That mm -hmm. They did that in St. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years ago that was. But that was my very first football game I ever went to. Oh. 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 But I wouldn't trade those memories for anything. We have another football queen here, and it's Joyce, Joyce. Lowry, yes, oh, oh, yes. 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 and 1946. Well, she was the football um, queen for that, yeah. Yeah. for that year. So I think you guys deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> well, anybody else? Anybody I, else that I to have to tell you. Jim was football captain that oh, yeah. year, too. Yeah. And Tuesday, we'll be there in 64 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's just like in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> somebody told me a story about hay rides and somebody oh, yeah. falling off the hay ride, and I can't remember who. Did somebody fall off and break an ankle or something? Do you remember you that? You sound like a medium, the way you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> say things to me and then I don't have a tablet and I don't have my tape recorder and then I just try to okay I'm gonna remember this and, I'll, and then then they walk away another person will say something it's just it's too hard to remember everything but I know that someone fell off a hay wagon um, and I'm not sure why and then of course I saw Jim Gibbs the other day at the grocery store and he said I remember going to your house and having hay rides and I'm like I, I well, Bruce would know here. We didn't, our fields weren't that big, you know. I don't know how we had a hay ride. Uh, we probably borrowed his hay wagon or something because my dad, we didn't have cows or anything. We didn't make hay at that time, so he was somewhere. Jim Gibbs was somewhere <laughs> near, near my house. Yeah, near my house. And, uh, you know, so but uh, um, you guys don't. I, the hay rides were. We had hay rides at somebody's house on Georgetown Road. What's that? There, we had hay rides at someone's house on Georgetown Road. Uh oh. Maybe it was. <laughs> Maybe it was your house. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Yeah, yeah, high timers had hay rides and hippies. Yeah, we always had hay rides and hippies. That's right. That's right. Yes. Old houses. Didn't we? we all went out to Old House Farm too, and he had plenty of fields the there too. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and then you came back and we did. Uh, um, Necking in the barn. On the hay and in the barn. Yeah. 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 So, um, I'm Excuse me, ladies. After necking in the barn, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when he had like those, you know, we called it, let's see, spooning was in my dad and mom's era, and then it was a necking, and then making, making out, 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 making out, 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 making out, 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 out parking, and parking, making out, 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 that's right. That's what they say now. What do they say now? Screwing. Yes. Oh. They say work oh, yeah. Yeah. No. They, they don't make out anymore. They say work. Yeah. yeah. It's worse. Oh, you I don't want to say that. Well. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. You're thinking about More stories. Any stories? But, yeah. Oh, come on, you guys. I know you know your stories. You're just, you're not telling secrets. <laughs> well, okay. this isn't club related, but Lynn Badley always had the best parties. <laughs> she did. She did. Her parents would be out of town. <laughs> we had the football players come one time. Oh, yeah. And, and they got uh, guess what? The, the coach came to Lynn's, and they were all banned from the very last game of their senior year. Oh, oh, because they were, because they were over over their curfew. Oh, their curfew. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Did we have beer that three two beer? I think we were. Maybe. I don't think well, maybe it was past curfew. curfew. It was but past he, curfew. He, just, he didn't even knock. He just, oh. well, he might have knocked. He just came right down the steps. Oh, wow. And that was yeah. it. Yeah. And he just stood there. Yep. Oh, okay. Just couldn't play the last. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. was it. Yeah. And who was the coach? That was Mr. Morton. Morton. Yeah, yeah. I can see him. I can see I wish Peggy yeah. could be here because mm -hmm. she would have yeah, a lot Peggy, of stories. Played, I heard a lot of yeah. this. Well, I did a lot yeah. of stories. <laughs> 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 Yes, yes, she did. <laughs> we would have a lot of open houses at my, at my house. Oh yeah. yeah. And then I, we had a, our basement was just totally empty, but it was big, so we had just moved in. And I would have to, you know, I, of course I cleaned it, but it was like a lot of dust, the cement dust, and that, you know. But so it was really empty. And then the stereos came in with, the, you know, the speakers that went out and everything. And Tyrone and I got one for Christmas, and so we had these parties. And it, we open, it was open to all the classes, so we would have them. But when Peggy Meisner was there, <laughs> there was always some sort of a game, and that you would, I don't know how you drew straw, drew, drew names or something, and then you went back in the fruit cellar. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, you went back there, but she didn't tell you. You had to go back there, but she didn't tell you what you should do or not do. And then when you came out, you had to answer a question, and that was like, uh, and then she would split you up, and the guy would go that way, and you go this way, and then you had to uh, see what, like, what, what color shirt was he wearing. And of course, if you were in there with a guy you liked, you didn't pay attention. To him, you know. So uh, she would do things like that. It was oh, she'd pick funny things. Too. That was the forerunner of the dating game. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so. But now initiations. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I. This is Donna. Donna McCoy Hartman. Does he got us? I just wondered, we were always invited to the Duke's initiations oh, a lot of times. Yeah. I wondered if all the clubs oh, were. Or, yes. Yeah. In fact, I think we held one one time. <laughs> well, I remember us going and just watching as they beat the crap out of these poor yeah. I never went. I couldn't. You never went. I did. I had seen yeah. the yeah. aftermath. It was kind of a big deal to get it was a big deal. to go watch. <laughs> I did. I went to one of those, and they were brutal. So it was. They were yeah, brutal. They, were brutal. Yeah. They, really were. they really were. Yeah. The, the one that my brother had at our house, my dad came downstairs, and I think he almost, he might have intervened because they were hitting too high. Yeah. You know, they were hitting, well, you know, up here instead of hitting down here hospital. where your padding is. Yeah. And so he stood there. He didn't. He didn't leave. You know, I he think that's leave. part of the reason why the clubs were disbanded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really because of the boys having the initiations they did. Although my son graduated in 96, and he told me they still had Cavaliers and Dukes, mm -hmm. and so, I think maybe Mets, but he said they had, they were never allowed to wear any of their stuff to school, right. yeah. and they weren't even allowed to talk about it in school, because that was sort of banned. 
Oh, mm -hmm. the news media, my son graduated in 84 and he tried to revitalize the Panthers, which had been an older club. And they started, gangs would come in from other communities to fight them. And the news media caught onto it and they called them gangs and that's mm -hmm. kind of the end of it. They, yeah. mm -hmm. He's got a, uh, hey, a thing out of the paper, but I haven't got it yet, uh, that they did a news story on them. Oh, oh, I don't know, places like that. Oh, I was just going to say, I remember uh, the clubs were very organized. Then we went by Robert's Rules, mm -hmm. and we always had a very nice Christmas dinner at a nice restaurant. We would decide mm -hmm. where we'd go. So I thought it was really mm -hmm. well organized and not out of order at all. Mm -hmm. Now she's wearing a pin. pin. Does anybody else have pins? I have my pin on. Oh, I have my pin. Another thing I can't find. I, mm -hmm. I have my class ring on it too. Oh, that was and I have a uh, charm bracelet that has the high timers, the yeah, HYT on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so Pettitees yeah, had a telephone did. and some yeah. of the others little round ones. And oh, yeah. Dusty yeah. Goddess had a kitten. Well, I don't know what high timers had. Yeah. I've had Here's my ring. Maybe in the pants since it doesn't yeah. fit me anymore. There you go. And it fits. <laughs> you want to do the right. signs again? Yeah. Kitten is. Dusty daughter? Yeah. Telephone yeah. and well, no, that was. Uh, what were the other things? Uh, Tight timers is just a big T. Which we don't remember at all. <laughs> 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 was it T? Well, now, um, Nine said for the Lassies, they had a chenille type of thing that was, they wore it on a sweater or a sweatshirt, but it just said Lassies. So, did you guys have these chenille things like? Like this, and she was. You wear a jacket or a collar. I had one from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, how it was a collar. No, I had that one of those. Yeah, my collar. What about initiations? Other than what I was going to have to get her. Sandy, other other than what Sandy said, initiations, you know. I think they were I still similar. Remember one. They, I think all the clubs, they, you know, blindfold. The yeah, I think they See, did. I don't remember that mm -hmm. kind of thing, but I remember yeah. having to wear that uniform. Most Domenicetti, uh, I don't know. I, she, I think she was a pedotin, but I don't know if it was me or somebody else. I don't know, but I, um, Vicky thought I was her big sis. You were my big sis. What did I make you do? I don't remember. <laughs> it must not have been too bad. <laughs> Let's go to the Lois, uh, I we remember Lois Domasetti coming. Um, uh, she had a, 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 a rubber glove on for like a chicken comb, <laughs> and she had to have this, um, what do you call those, long johns on, and they had to be, uh, they were red, you know, where the, mm. the, the bottom came out of it. And I think she wore flippers, you know, for like a chicken, and a, and a duster for her tail. <laughs> So was that the maids though? That was yeah. maids, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know if she was in the maids. Uh, I don't know. That's what we had to do for maids. One night we were uptown. We had to push baby buggies. So that was not Pettitine's. No, I don't think so. The maids That's did that. That's all the maids. Wow, the maids. Oh, it was. Yes. So did we weren't allowed. They we had to roller skate somewhere. I remember that. And we were yeah. sent home because we had. We, were sent home to <laughs> we weren't allowed to do it in school. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I, I thought, do remember. <laughs> I do think though that we had to wear our sweaters backwards, something yeah. Yeah. like that Bunny to sweaters. school. Like your sweaters. Mm -hmm. you know, we had to do backwards. something different. Mm -hmm. But yeah. let me tell you, backwards day. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. one person here that got sent home for school from school because of the maids, and that's Carol Doherty. <laughs> tell and them that was my that was, home. was the best uh, outfit that I had for the whole week. I looked better than that day, <laughs> Mr. Ludwig. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. did the opposite. Oh. <laughs> what did it look? And what said, was it? I, I had plans and stripes. There's a picture of her. There. Oh, is there? Well, she didn't well, match. Well, I didn't match. Yeah, that was the only awful. thing. That was my calmest one. I have a picture of me pushing the baby buggy in a hat and my face all dirty up and all kinds. Of, it was. A, um, and we had my to go. big sister was yeah. Nancy Fife, and she lived on Ellsworth, and I lived on Summit. So, and of course, we didn't have, tra we weren't transported around like the kids are now. <laughs> so that's a long walk. And I, and I can't remember. I couldn't have gone to school pushing the buggy, so I'm not sure. Yeah. The only thing I could have got away with was the outfit. It was just a skirt 
on a blouse, but they didn't match him. Kind of loud. And that's when he sent me home. So. What did your mother say? She, she just kind of grinned. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Ludwig was very nice about it. He says, I really don't want to do this, but you're not supposed to be at school with your, you know, that was what we were talking about. We weren't allowed really to be doing this. But we did it anyway. <laughs> so I came back. I had time to get back. I got home and changed. I remember going to Connie Petrucci's for meetings, and I couldn't wait to go the next time because they had that wonderful stuff, that bread with the red sauce on it. <laughs> and I'm wondering if pizza was available at that time. So that would have been 47. Because yeah, I don't remember. You know, we yeah. didn't have a name for it. It was no, just always no, so, so good. The, we didn't know so that might have been a start of pizza. <laughs> In Salem. <laughs> yeah. um, with my initiation, I'm not going to, I don't want to interrupt, but I remember, uh, and, and so now we have to say, it's, it had to be the maid. So we started uh, at Rosemary Shoe's house, and we had all get bicycles. And I remember my dad had to carry the bicycle in his truck and get me to Rosemary Shoe's. Mm -hmm. And it was April, so it was a little cool yet. My parents were worried we weren't allowed to wear, we had to wear sweaters. No deodorant, we weren't allowed to shave, <laughs> our skirts were low, you know, but we, we had to wear sleeveless blouses so that the hair on your face would show, you know, and uh, that's how we went to school for a whole week, I think, you know, so, um, oh my God. yeah. Did you What's, Fairview Court then? What's that? Was that Fairview Court? Yes, yes, over in there. Yeah, so there were, I don't know how many of us, but that was, um, I think it was five days for five, the whole week. You had something different that you had to do yeah. every day for initiation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe it was just riding the bike was just the one day. Right. So then, we, then my dad had to come and pick the bike up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, after it tells you right on there the different days of what the, the mm. yeah, no way. Every day. I got every day wrote down, but that was in my ear. I bet every year was different. They probably made up. Well, here's where things. the bathing cap came in. Somebody told me they were wearing a bathing cap, and then wearing one day you had to wear lipstick. Big red lipstick and went up like this, like a big and, and obnoxious <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> See, they changed that when we got in. They didn't, we weren't allowed to do it. We didn't have to, maybe wearing your sweater backwards, but nothing that the. Nothing here, no. No, that they no. would notice. They did it at yeah. night to us. Yeah. <laughs> we remember, but in our era, we teased our hair up real pretty, but we weren't allowed to do it. We had to go with our hair flat and ugly and. You know, and mm -hmm. you know, no and you, you, you just you didn't look pretty at all. <laughs> you, know, you, just, you just looked like you got up in the morning, and, you know. So okay, anyway, yeah, I was just gonna say, I was in the Petta teams when we organized. What year? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Tell them your name again. Oh. Shirley Hilliard Baker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had another name. I also was a Hilliard. So yeah. Polly and I. Yeah, I was a Hilliard. Distantly related. Distantly. Anyhow. We had, when we organized, we, there were, we only had nine girls, and we kept it nine for I don't know how many years because we didn't want to, our parents, our mothers probably, didn't want their house overrun with, you know, 20 people. But we had sweater vests that were gray wool with green trim, and then we had a green chenille P on the front of it, oh. and that was our club sweater, mm -hmm. and we wore those to school sometimes, and when we had meetings, and then, of course, and we always went to the corner mm -hmm. after yeah. our club yeah. meeting, yeah. we would always go to the yeah. corner, because we didn't have a canteen, yeah. uh, but we went to the corner and had what, Dagwoods mm -hmm. and yeah. French fries, or they had little chocolate sundaes that was vanilla ice cream in a cup with chocolate and peanuts on, mm -hmm. and we like to get those. Mm -hmm. Pink mm -hmm. chocolate smudge. Yeah. No, yeah. You didn't have one on of this? Those. No, we did not have this. Now, Carol. No, I think that far you we had that. Okay. Oh, I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I can't talk. That's okay. Uh, Yell it. In 50, right, two or three. We had that one to use, and we used it for several now, years. Carol kind of like helped redesign. So yeah, did she? Kinda, I she hadn't seen one for a while. As soon as I saw that, I went, "There it is." <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So that that was interesting that she was 
part of that that she got to read the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. Come on, Karen, you've got something. What did we do? Look at what I'm thinking. Well, with the maids, I know that we were, when we had the initiation in the mornings, they made it clear to us that we had to look halfway decent to go to school because they knew that there was a, so we would get in trouble. Yeah. Because they knew what, you know, oh, obviously going what was going yeah. on. And, that, and they made so. sure that we looked, <laughs> I think we were allowed to put makeup on like yeah. right before we went to school. So they didn't have any idea. Mm -hmm. But I know that they're. Mm -hmm. Until night. Until night. Yeah. Our class probably ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. So, parties, anybody? Nothing? Nothing? Are you kidding? Back to the, uh, I'd like to say something about the White Christmas Dance. I think you were asked to be on the committee. Yeah. It wasn't affiliated with anything. No. no. But what we would just comb, we, we met on Sunday afternoon, I remember. We would just go through. Who, who would who would you like to go with? Or let's put this person with that right, person. Right. And it was always a surprise to everybody. I feel so sorry for the people. Like, I don't even know this guy. They're like, I, I don't like him. You know, and I don't ever remember asking anybody coming up and saying, I, I really don't feel comfortable going with could I go with somebody else? It was like set in stone. This is who you're going with. Period. And you went. Yeah, I think a lot of people would not have gone had they not been put together. There were a lot of very shy people, and, exactly. and I think well, a, it made a wonderful <laughs> party, really, because yeah. people were delighted that they were invited. Right. And, right. Right. And, right. and we paid for it. Yeah, yeah. we exactly. paid for that. It was really yeah. there, there was only one problem once, found out they were cousins. There was <laughs> two of them that were cousins. We go, oops, <laughs> there was uh, cousins. We had put them together. Well, they didn't this have guy. to sleep together. They no, just they just had show. to go, don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know. But we switched them around, so. Wow. But I, now, how about the expense? No, I don't think they don't have that no. these days. So here you are, it's Christmas time. I can remember my dad. A dress? You know, you need a dress? It's Christmas, you know. So here you have, and you had to have, you know, the guy would have to get you a corsage, you know, and there, here's the families. We weren't, we, you know, not all of us were had money or anything. It was, right. it was uh, tight. You know, sometimes your dads were only working three days, you know, at the shops and stuff. So, yeah, we had to get a dress and hose. How about the hose? And oh, we didn't wear the panty girdles. Then we wore those garters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and then you got to get the heels. And did we match our shoes? Yes. Well, yeah, get your shoes yeah. matched. To die. Yeah. 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 You know, but it, the but the nice thing. But we learned etiquette too. We learned how to be young ladies, you know. So, and we had, had to get your hair done, kind of like the prom, you know. So, you know, we sent out really nice invitations. Mm -hmm. I do remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. who paid for those? We, we did. Don't we? We, we paid did. so much. Hey, to be we put money in. five dollars when you when you were asked to belong. Then you paid a certain amount to belong. No, what was that, Ricky? What? No. When you were asked to belong, then you owed a certain amount of money to help pay for this. Oh, yeah, we did pay. We did. Yeah, yeah. The, committee. Yeah. the committee paid. I wonder how much that was. I thought it was twenty dollars or something like that. Well, it probably went a long ways then. Yeah, then. Yeah. Did we have it at the Elks? Ours, like ours were at the golf club. Mm -hmm. Ours was at the golf club. Mm -hmm. They had them different ours places. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Carol? I remember decorating for the white Christmas dance. Decorating, yeah. Hers yeah. were very silly. And I, or dry night, I was driving. And we went to Strauss, Hirschberg, and they let us go up in their attic and pick out stuff that they weren't using. Really? Yeah, so we were piling all these things in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it was a station. Yeah. Wow. And they got to be in the attic of Strasburg. <laughs> Lots of good things. Wow. The decorating was an expense. So yeah. I remember we had to have it in our... Yeah. Agenda. In the budget or something. One like year we had an angel made out of styrofoam, and I met one of my best friends. It was 20 years. She's 20 years older than me. It's Peg Stewart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, no, Peg Stewart. Mm -hmm. Sally was mm -hmm. on the committee with me, and Peg uh, agreed to help us make the angel, and she uh, she washed and dried all the feathers for this great big angel. She had feathers all over her house and Andy her youngest was allergic to feathers and 
bless her heart, and she she helped us, and we became friends forever. Now this is Peg Stewart. Peg mm -hmm. Stewart, Sally, and Dickie, and Mindy, and Andy Stewart's mom. Well, we just met Sally okay. Stewart last Sunday. Oh, did yeah. you? She was a uh, because she came over for the. She brought some things. Yeah, she's a class of '66. Class of probably from the reunion. Where does she work? Came. She, she works at Butech. Butech. Yeah, but she worked at people. She worked at yeah, people. Uh, all these different places. So she came yeah. down to the museum to talk to people as they came in. What's the room called? The uh, Fifty Herbs. Uh, and then and now. Downtown Salem. Then and now. Then and now. But Peg, you know, she was yeah. a wonderful mm -hmm. helper and. Wow. I think there's still feathers floating through that house. <laughs> <laughs> Were they white feathers? White feathers, and it was gorgeous. Do you guys remember anybody? Mm -hmm. The great big angel. It was beautiful. And where did she get all those feathers? I don't know. Big duck. She probably <laughs> took them out of pillows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but we had grandiose ideas, and she helped us. Come. That's and a great moment. Where did this angel go? We don't know. No, I mean, you hung it, or it was just in the middle. It was floor? the it was the backdrop for our pictures, I believe. Is that right? Sounds Con? familiar. <laughs> Do you remember, girls? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> but it was I out of school. Maybe. You were out of school. Yeah. You're old. Yeah. Well, who knows where that angel is now? <laughs> yeah. So that's fine. Now every time I see an angel with feathers. It was a big angel. Yeah. A big yeah. angel. Yeah. Big angel. Any other chance? Come on, story. Well, I wanted to remind people if we need, if we like to have things donated to us at the museum here, and you mentioned last week we got a couple of things last, but we get things all the time, mm -hmm. and um, and you mentioned garter belts, mm -hmm. and I don't have my original garter belt, and I wish, you Imagine know, I would that. like to have one. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say, I think Ducky D. Jane should be mentioned when you talked about the man. Oh, definitely. Joe Julian. Joe Julian and and Luke. Yeah. Luke. Yeah. Now, I remember having a card that we had a time clock, and Ducky would sit there and we would punch it. Not, not always, because if it didn't work, we had a sign on it. Before you know, so. Ducky, it was Joe Boone. Yes. 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 But was he there when you Did he there? dance too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ducky, Ducky danced. Yeah, Ducky danced. Ducky oh, yeah. danced. Yeah. 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 And Luke Bennett. And yeah. Mr. Yeah. Boone was there all the yes. time. Were they chaperones? No, no more table tapping. Well, mm -hmm. sort of. They were. They sat there at the desk and checked with. They were okay. the chaperones. They were. Was the chaperone. There was only one, Mr. Boone. They never Mr. needed Mr. it. No, they didn't. The kids, if you acted up, you were out. Wow. Do you? Your plaques and your signs from all the clubs were hung. First, they were at the corner, and then they were down at the canteen. I'm sorry. What was your name? Uh, Sally. Snowball Chapel. Oh, sorry, Snowball. I should have recognized you. Sorry about that. Can I say that again? She used to go to the Methodist Church. I used to. Go. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been back in the choir. Good. Not in your choir. <laughs> Come but back. Anyhow, so, but anyhow, what did you say about our uh, plaque? Well, the high timers had a plaque, a wooden plaque. <laughs> and the pedatines yes. had a big round something or other with a P in it. Mm -hmm. And the boys' clubs had different mm -hmm. plaques or oh, whatever. Yeah. And they hung. Yeah. First, they yeah. hung at the corner. And then they hung down at the, uh, at, the at the memorial building, and I don't know where they went to after that. Well, I wonder when they redid it if they would have it still down there or if they got rid of them. They could. I mean, who knows? Or maybe the library might even have it too. True. That's something to check into. Gail has a freezer. Gail has a freezer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we had one in 40 years. I'll be darned. I'll be darned. I remember that plaque, Sally, the Pedatine. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the high timers, um, during Judy and my era, uh, we had sweatshirts, 
and then we had the lavalier, and then we had, um, for our picture, we had blazers, blue blazers, and a white high timer patch on the blazer. I don't know where mine is. We did too. We had denim jackets with high timers on them. Yeah, I don't know where mine is, but there, there was one picture somebody told me that the high timers took a picture, and the seniors all wore, I'm thinking, white, and the, everybody else wore black sweaters, and then they they stood in a and they made a T in the picture, so for the T for the timers, so. Um, but that was high timers, but I have not come across that picture yet. So with that one, but she talked about collars. I wonder if, like, you know, seniors didn't wear collars. I had a collar. Can you point your seat with the T and the white sweaters? Isn't that the picture? Yeah, right that's there, the one right there. Right there. Right there. See the milk? Oh, right, right. All the black the white sweaters? Right, see? Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Well, let's hope that's getting donated here. So. I hope so. Anyhow, yeah. Um, that's our seat. No, that's Maria. Not. Did you have that? No, that was Polly. So that's your yeah. seat. Could you have yeah, that, that, that picture in mind? I'm sorry. In mind. Anyhow, you know, the last thing I'll tell you, because I see some people are having to leave, and I, I guess BJ went already did. And, if you have nothing else, you're welcome to refreshments and, and talk to each other. But I did ask a teacher um, that taught in the, um, let me think here, started, she started in 1968 and went through, I think, 1990, something like that. But I asked her for her opinion or uh, her view of the clubs, you know, and she said for her, she viewed it as a, um, how can I say this, a, um, a teenage um, experience. <laughs> and that that um, was actually taught you a lot, uh, taught you, you know what, let me, I have to that quote her. Sorry about that. that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so, so she put it this way. Uh, these clubs, they were exclusive clubs that were part of the teenage experience. Uh, teenagers from bigger cities did not have this opportunity. It was the exclusivity of them that made them more desirable. So that's why when you were excluded, that you then that made you want to, you know, get picked to come in, whatever. So, but then, you know, she said, some got in because of who you knew or because of siblings or cousins, and some were asked, uh, even the following year, due, due to somebody moving away or, or I guess, an opening or something like that. That was her view of it, exclusivity of it. But a teenage experience, so. Um, I think there's, on the flip side of that, there was also a lot of sadness mm -hmm. with the people that didn't get into these clubs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. it was kind of sad. The white Christmas dance. The white Christmas dance thing. caused a lot of hard feelings. Right. And yeah. I think our clubs did too. But on the other hand, it, that's life, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It is life, you know, not everybody can win and not everybody gets a prize, and, yeah, not everybody gets a trophy, but it it was sad for a lot of people, too. But, you know, in the 40s, in the 40s, they had the mural, they had the mural, was hurtful. They didn't need a mural, they had the 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 Totally. On the note yeah. of uh, the uh, people not getting in, I talked to the alumni association, and they uh, I, I, there was some things like we I asked them to put in the flyer. They did put it on their their uh, somewhere, but they said they couldn't put anything in the uh, bulletin that goes out or their newsletter because they had done something like that once before with the clubs, and they got so many phone calls and people that were still irate and upset because they were not in the club. Yeah. So yeah. see, it's still the feelings, the bad feelings still go, go a long way, but like I said, you know, but it, again, it was it was limited because of the space that you had right. to, and I don't think, I think if we could have had more in our club, we would have, we would have had more. You know, there were, there were girls we wanted to get in and you just, there wasn't room. Yeah. You couldn't do it. In my case, back then, my father was against it. And maybe some other parents, because we lived outside of town, he didn't want to have me going 
going in town. Yeah, I'd have to go in. Didn't want to be with those town you kids. You only had one car. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was because you know they didn't drive that much then. You had to catch Some of the ride. parents, I think. Actually, you know, my sister was not allowed to join the club. Is that right? Because my parents thought it was not appropriate. It was too exclusive, and my sister was not allowed to join. Of course, then her brother, brother came around. Her, her brother, brother joined, joined the club. He did, and then I got it. The baby. The, the baby. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Carol. Right? She loves to tell me that. <laughs> well, well, baby. So anyhow, yeah. any more stories? Yeah. Don't be shy. You know, what really surprised me tonight that we have Pawnee Krista Ferris here and she has no stories. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I bet you she took down every single thing you all said. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll hear about it later. That's <laughs> right. Uh, anyhow, so I, I, you know, we all appreciate you coming. David, appreciate you coming. Would you like to meet again? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Would you really? Yeah. Okay. We well, might find some David, stuff. Maybe some that? other people yeah. will come in. Yeah. 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 I mean, we were talking about some of the people feeling left out. But you know, when you come up, and we didn't have freshmen, it was only three years, sophomore, junior, and senior, you got to know your upperclassmen yeah. because you were in the club. Yeah, that's how I met you. Yeah, that was how you met them. Yeah. It was. There were pros and cons. Huh. Yeah, you're welcome. That's something else. I'll keep looking for my I think this morning we were with the church. Do you think I can ask anything? I'm sorry. If I find one of you, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope I know that. And I said, I just did a little bit. Okay. Right hand.